Welcome to Atlantean Astrology, where stars speak in silent codes, and the universe unfolds like a sacred scroll. Here, we are more than seekers, we are voyagers through the timeless and the boundless, stepping beyond the veil of the visible. Join us on YouTube and TikTok, where each moment brings you closer to secrets hidden in the heart of eternity, truths whispered by the cosmos itself. Subscribe not merely to follow, but to awaken. Let us open the celestial doorways together, unraveling the tapestry of the unknown, where light and mystery dance, waiting for the one who dares to see. The Shadow, A Journey Beyond the Veil, My Personal Journey into the Unified Theory of You. It began as it always did, a nightly ritual aboard the Navy ship during my Westpac deployment. The endless hum of the engines, the dark expanse of ocean surrounding us, the stars above. This was my sanctuary. After my duties were done, I would retreat into meditation. The stillness brought clarity and clarity brought freedom. Over time, I had learned to leave my body, to rise above the constraints of flesh and drift through the ship as pure awareness. In my out-of-body explorations, I had wandered the dimly lit corridors, the decks, and even the stars glimmering outside the portholes. It became second nature, a skill I honed and trusted. But one night, my journey took a turn I could never have anticipated. As I meditated, slipping effortlessly out of my body, I felt an unfamiliar pull, not down through the ship as I was used to, but upward. It was a force I couldn't resist, lifting me into the infinite expanse of space. I was moving faster than ever before, the stars streaking past in radiant trails, the cosmos unfolding before me in its vast, unknowable glory. But I wasn't alone. Beside me, keeping pace, was a shadow, a dark figure that moved with me. It wasn't a formless presence. It had shape, substance, even a kind of personality. Its movements mirrored my own, its gaze unflinching, as though it were studying me. I didn't recognize it at first, but as I flew deeper into the cosmos, I began to feel the truth. This shadow was no stranger. It was a creation of my own mind, a being forged from the fragments of my fears, doubts, and attachments. It was my ego made manifest, a reflection of all the parts of myself I had yet to confront. It was not evil, but it was heavy, a weight I could feel pulling at me even as I soared toward the light. The shadow didn't speak, but its presence carried a message. It didn't want to be left behind. The journey continued, my speed increasing as the light ahead grew brighter and more brilliant. It was a light unlike any other, a source of warmth, love, and infinite understanding. I felt it calling to me, pulling me closer with a force that transcended words. Every fiber of my being longed to reach it, to merge with its essence. But the shadow clung to me, its dark form a constant reminder of everything I hadn't let go. It wasn't merely following me, it was tethered to me, as though I had given it life, and now it demanded recognition. It moved with purpose, mirroring my flight, its form shifting as though shaped by the depths of my own mind. The closer I came to the light, the more the shadow seemed to resist. It pulled at me as though trying to hold me back, to keep me from leaving it behind. In that moment, I understood the depth of our connection. The shadow was not some external force. It was a part of me. It was my creation, born from every fear I had refused to face, every doubt I had let fester, every illusion of control I had clung to. The shadow wasn't just my ego, it was the version of myself I had built to survive the world. It had served me once, protecting me, helping me navigate life. But here, in the infinite expanse of the cosmos, its purpose was no longer valid. 
It was bound to the physical world, to the illusions of separation and identity that I was leaving behind. As the light grew nearer, the shadow's pull weakened. I could feel the warmth of the light dissolving the fear that had given the shadow its power. I didn't need to fight it. I needed to let it go. And so, with a deep sense of surrender, I released it. In that moment, I surged forward, leaving the shadow behind. It didn't chase me. It simply faded, its weight gone, its purpose fulfilled. I felt an indescribable freedom, as though a part of myself had been set free. The shadow could not keep up with the light, and it dissolved into the wholeness of the universe. And then, I entered the light. The light was not a place, but a state of being, a realm of pure presence and love. It enveloped me, not as an external force, but as something I had always known, something that had always been within me. In the light, there was no separation, no division. I wasn't entering it. I was becoming it. The light was alive, conscious, and infinitely loving. It spoke to me without words, its message resonating directly with my soul. I understood in an instant the truth of existence, that we are not separate beings, but part of an infinite whole connected by the essence of love. As I merged with the light, I became aware of a sound, a symphony of voices rising and falling in perfect harmony. It was the song of angels, their music a living force that wove the fabric of creation. Their voices were distinct yet united, forming a hymn that celebrated the unity of all things. The angel's song wasn't something I heard, it was something I felt, something I became a part of. It was a reminder of the divine harmony that underpins the universe, the truth that we are all connected, all part of the same eternal song. When I returned to my body, the hum of the ship's engines greeted me, grounding me in the physical world once more, but I was not the same. The shadow of my ego was gone, left behind in the infinite. What remained was a profound sense of peace, a knowing that I was more than the fears and illusions that had once defined me. The shadow, my own creation, had been both my companion and my obstacle. Letting it go wasn't an act of destruction, but of integration. It was a necessary step on the journey back to the truth of who I am. The shadow may have been my creation, but it was also my teacher. It showed me the parts of myself I needed to face, the weight I needed to release in order to step into the fullness of the light. In the end, the journey wasn't about escaping the shadow. It was about transcending it, and in doing so, I discovered the eternal truth, that we are not our fears, our doubts, or our illusions. We are the light, infinite and unbound, racing ever onward toward the source of all love and life. As we close this chapter of Atlantean astrology, remember, the universe is not something you look at, it's something you are part of. The mysteries we uncover here are not destinations, but doorways, leading you deeper into the infinite and eternal. Until next time, let the stars guide you, let the unseen inspire you, and let the boundless truths of the cosmos awaken something timeless within you. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and always remember, the journey is only just beginning. Venture into the boundless depths of this channel, where every video is a portal to new realms of understanding, each unveiling a sacred fragment of existence and the eternal mystery of the universe. Step into the light, let your journey shine, like stars so high leave your mark and subscribe.